Thank you, Mr. Speaker. So I would like to participate uh, in the resolution brought by Charles Bangor MLA. This House now uh, resolved to oppose the recommendations of the Uniform Civil Court. Mr. Speaker, sir, to you, we don't know what are the contents that has laid in the UCC till that. But uh, my fear is that, Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, passionately realizing and passionately uh, I thought this means, <laughs> any uh, compromises without which idealism is impossible. What I have learned in my political career, Mr. Speaker, sir, is that we can argue passionately for the modernizations, passionately for the realism, for the realism that compromise without which the idealism is impossible. But what I'm feeling now what is I'm really feel deeply denial of the central fact, very reluctant false visions of the future, economic danger and risk, perhaps maybe soap power. The third referendum that might embrace the benevolence of our country. What I'm worried about is the following. It's, it is not just to express the differences but in a dangerous sense, they, they intensify indifference by converting them to take their own, you never know, the religion or own system. Therefore, there might be a nationalist in the politics, Mr. Speaker, sir. The moderations that they are compromising, they are trying to compromise, ultimately in realism, we might not try to get as much as what we fear. Now, nowadays, I am seeing, especially even in the MGNSC sector, we are a Christian state, Mr. Speaker. <coughs> we are a Christian state. But yet, on the day of our holiday, Sunday, the MGNSC was supposed to be only 30 days of Mendes, I mean, 100 days of Mendes, which was supposed to be covered. But without Sunday, we could have covered. But now itself, the central government is pressing us that even on Sunday also, you have to take the photo and then give it. Now itself they are suppressing. That day, also Mr. Speaker sir, in our CPA meeting, which was held on Sunday, because of Sunday I didn't come. It doesn't mean that I don't want to come. But since it was held on Sunday, I do not want to compromise, not because I am a holy, but at least I have to respect the sentiments and the emotions of the Christian. Now itself, they are trying to press us. Everything, it seems like they are trying to do it on Sunday, Holy Day. What? The one of the saddest part is that even on Christmas, they started taking a picture for the wages. Somewhere in Rongjang side. So, I would like to impress upon our government, at least being the Christian state, we should restrict Sunday, even on taking the pictures for the wages. We can cover 100 mandates because we have got 365 days. Not necessarily that you have to take a picture on Sunday. So these are the areas that I'm scared, Mr. Speaker. So by chance, if they pass, what will happen, happen? What will happen to us? Such civility, this is the only civility where the important issues can be discussed. I laserly assume, despite the superficial differences between the ruling and the opposition, but reflecting upon issues, it's too prejudiced. In reality, using the rules and the framework of the constitution, being the legislator, I would like to speak, help, uh, you know, help upon the government right now. We should remain, we should not remain exciting about any kind of any kind of, uh, you know, uh, act or any kind of uh, issues that is being passed by the center. We should check and balance. We should not be cowardly incompetent enough, which will profoundly diminish us, our sectorial. Democratic government reflects their own people, respect their neighbor, 
free from well-being, peace, democracy would bring us properly security, overcome sectarian violence, ensure that the state will not harbor those which we don't need. Mr. Speaker, sir, the idea of democracy is equality, liberty reflects the idea of dignity and dignity of every individual and dignity of every religion. Democracy should not be an instrument, it's not, it, it is not about the things, it should not prosperous, effective, rule of law, it doesn't guarantee for the next 100 years. Point out about the democracy is intrinsic. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, sir, I am totally against, and we are all totally against, and I believe, not only from the opposition, even from the Treasury also, we should be all be against. We should be worrying about what will happen if the UCC is placed before the, you know, uh, if it is placed before the legislator. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, sir, since everybody has spoken, all their ideas and views, I don't want to dodge here and there, but would like to request that we should send a clear message that the Meghalaya, being the Christian state, we should not be, you know, uh, we should not be succumbing to any kind of rule of law that they will be passing every now and then. We are a diverse county, we should respect each and every uh, everybody and which, each and every tribe, each and every community, each and every religion. With these few words, Mr. Speaker, sir, I would like to resume my seat. Thank you. Thank you.